Apple have just announced brand new features coming to Logic Pro, including Synth Player, Chord ID, Quick Swipe Comping for iPad, and Music Understanding, plus Beat Detection and Montage Maker for Final Cut Pro. This is all part of Apple's new Creator Studio subscription plan, which launches in a couple of weeks' time. In this video, we're going to take a deep dive into all of the Logic Pro specific features that are coming soon. Let's go. <laughs> If you missed my previous videos all about Apple Creator Studio, you can find those linked in the description. They're a complete overview, but a quick update for those that didn't catch those. This is Apple's new creator bundle. And for $12.99 per month or $129.99 per year, you get access to Final Cut Pro, Logic Pro, Pixelmator Pro, and a whole bunch more. You can even get a one month free trial. And as soon as these apps drop and are available, you better believe we'll be covering them here on the channel. So make sure you're subscribed. Feature number one the Synth Player, an AI Session Player expansion. Here's what Apple says about it. Synth Player joins the AI Session Player lineup and delivers electronic music performances with chordal and synth bass parts powered by AI. And Apple positions this like having access to a skilled synthesis. So just like the keyboard player, the bass player and the drummer before, we now have a brand new AI Session Player for synths. Apple also states that we have controls for complete complexity and intensity with more parameters for advanced performance control. And we only have this slightly blurry screenshot here to go by, but it looks like we have a very similar layout to our other instruments here. So you can set up the different types that you can have there. This one says rhythmic chords. You've got complexity and intensity there. You can regenerate just like you can, but this is where it's different as well as the main details and manual. You've got this LFO option here, and it looks like you can adjust your LFO or low frequency oscillator to have different types of sounds. And the cool thing is that this will actually link in with whatever synth instrument you like. So here it's showing the retro synth, but you can use any third party plugins or even your own external hardware synthesizer, not something that I'm into, but if you are, that's pretty cool. And if you're trying to think, well, how are these going to work together? This is like your player and this is like your instrument. So you can select any instrument you like and then instruct your synth player to play your synth in a bunch of different styles. So I'm looking forward to checking this one out. And once again, as soon as it drops, I will be using my fairly limited synthesizer knowledge to put this to the test. Hey, maybe it's just like for someone like me that doesn't know their way around synthesizers, this could actually be a really handy new session player. Feature number two is Chord ID. Here's what Apple says it does. Chord ID becomes a personal music theory expert by turning audio or MIDI into a ready to use chord progression and it can be automatically populated in the chord track. So this is pretty cool. If you've used the Chord Track in Logic Pro on your iPad or on your Mac before, you'll know it can be kind of clunky to insert the chords in there. So you used to have to go in there and manually put in each one of these chords. Well, what we're now going to be able to do is jump in here and go to Analyze Chords, which is going to come in here and work out all of the different chords and actually put them in there. Now, the proof will be in the pudding as to exactly how effectively this works. But once again, I'll be putting it to the test with some MIDI and as well with some chord progressions because that'll be the big test, won't it? The reason that I have confidence with this is that the old Music Memos app that Apple released and then sadly no longer support had chord analysis and it did a pretty good job. And even if there's a few chords in here that we need to mop up after the fact, it's still going to be a heck of a lot better than going in there and manually entering them one by one. So Chord ID, I got to tell you, this is the one that I'm looking forward to trying out the most. Feature number three, and this is the one we know the most about because it's already available on the Mac, but Quick Swipe Comping is coming to Logic Pro for iPad. So iPad users now have access to the industry-leading Quick Swipe Comping feature from Logic Pro for Mac. It can comp multiple takes together easily and you can save multiple comps and quickly switch between them. So you can see here from the screenshot, this is a vocal. You've got take one, two, three, and four. Again, we'll zoom in on this uh, slightly blurry screenshot. So you can use these different takes. In fact, there's only three, take one, take two, and take three. And you can see here, 
that you're selecting different takes. And the whole swiping is that you can swipe the point that you want it to cross over. Because if you've ever comped before, and by the way, comping or compiling is just a way to take, say, three different vocal takes and get the best chunks from each of them. So if you've never comped before, this is going to be a cool way to try it for the first time. So you say, all right, I want take two at the start. And then at that point, I want to switch over to take three. And then at that point, I want to switch over to take one. And you can see there, it auto creates crossfades because yes, if you've tried to do this manually before, it, you need to put some fades in there because otherwise it you get the little clicks and pops between your takes. So having a quick and easy way to comp your vocals and just record three, four, five takes of that vocal or guitar part and then be able to quickly adjust and move between the different takes, this is going to be a game changer, especially if, like me, you record a lot of vocals and backing vocals here in Logic Pro for iPad. Feature number four, music understanding. Now, this one's for Logic Pro for iPad. This is loop discovery using natural language. So you Users can describe a loop or use the find similar loops to actually find a loop that you want to use. So no more tags or guessing or filters. You're now going to be able to just type in what you want. So what have they got in our demo here? If we zoom on in here, you've got drums, you've got pattern loop, you've got trap there. And you can see here, you're finding different loops, but what it's saying you can do, so you've got your, your original matches here and then your partial matches, but it's saying that instead of you having to describe and it just search the name, it's now gonna actually find the type of sound you're looking for. So you can actually say things like, funky drums and it's going to go and find some funky drums or some, I don't know, subtle bass, uh, finger style guitar. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to be able to use this for, but the old loop browser with so many loops in there became really clunky to use and very difficult to filter down and to find what you're looking for. So to be able to go in there and say uh, trap style hi-hats and then it goes and finds those, even if it doesn't mention the word trap or hi-hat in the loop, that's the sort of thing that's going to be a game changer for folks that use a lot of loops. Feature number five is not specifically Logic Pro. It's a crossover feature from Logic Pro into Final Cut Pro, and it's called Beat Detection. So Beat Detection shows musical beats, bars, and song parts right in the project timeline and uses an AI model from Logic Pro and displays a beat grid so you can align cuts to music. And uh, Apple also notes that re-editing tracks to different lengths is easier. So you can see here that as well as your video tracks there, you're seeing audio tracks here and you're going to be able to see the beats and the different parts of your songs because Final Cut Pro is going to use the same beat detection algorithms that are used in Logic Pro to actually put those straight into Final Cut. Now, for someone like me, who's a Luma Fusion user, this could be something that takes me over into Final Cut. Pro, at least to try it out, because if you've ever tried to sync up audio and video or create any sort of music video using your music, it can be a challenge. So anything that can make that easier, and this is where I think that AI needs to really help you. It needs to help humans make it easier to make great art. And this is the thing. We don't want AI to make our music videos for us, but we don't want to have to do the grunt work of finding the beats and lining everything up. And you know that thing where you're just moving something slightly one way and not quite and then slightly the other way. If it can do that part of it and leave me to the creative process, I'm all in. So... Check it out, Final Cut Pro Beat Detection coming soon. And finally, feature number six is another one that is similar. We've got the Montage Maker. So this can kick start and edit by analyzing and cutting together a dynamic video based on the best visual moments with options to change pacing, cut to a music track, and intelligently reframe horizontal videos to vertical with auto crop. So if like me, you're making videos for your music and maybe you've got a bunch of footage, like you can see here, you've got a whole bunch of different bits of footage, you can grab them all together and turn them into a montage. Now, these, we already have similar sorts of things in things like the Photos app that work in various levels of quality. So definitely keen to try this one out. And once again, because we get all of these bundled together with the Apple Creator Studio, if you're gonna be trying the new Logic Pro for iPad, you can try the new Final Cut Pro for iPad as well because you get it all in that same bundle. And remember, you can get your first month for free. So this will be an interesting one to see how it goes. So for music creators like me, my top three in order would go Chord ID, Synth Player, 
and the quick swipe comping. All the other stuff is pretty cool, and I'll definitely be checking it out, but they're the things that I'm excited about. But you let me know what you think of these new features. Are these things that are going to make you want to check out the new Apple Creator Studio? Let me know your comments down below. And while you're down there, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more videos, and check out the previous two videos of overviews of all of these new Apple Creator Studio features. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.